Hey guys, it is me, Kaden, and welcome back to another video. <clears throat> In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Draculaura and Claude 2 pack for holiday. Um, this is the Valentine's set. Um, I ordered these off Mattel's Creations as soon as they um, released um, on midnight, and I got them. And I was going to do a video yesterday, but um <clears throat> sadly the it got delayed because the winter storms that's been going on so it's been pushing back a lot of other videos that i've been wanting to do because i knew i wanted to do this video even though there's many of them out there but we got them so let's get into the video get a load of me All right, so before we open them, um, I just want to kind of review the box real quickly. So it says Monster High Holiday on it. And then they got this like little rose shape for the um, window. And then they got these like cute little roses, super cute. Same thing with this and then the rose uh, leaf cutouts <clears throat> with the gold and pink on it. It's just love edition with it. And then on the side says Monster High with like, for some reason, they put the zipper back on. But it says, like right here, it says to Claude. They got all that. And then I don't think there's a to Draculaura. I think by the way, it just says to Claude. And then on the back, it just has the, the doll pictures on it, which is super cute. And then the writing on it. The writing on it says the big monster on campus is ready to whisk his favorite birthday ghoul away for a romantic date night and special birthday celebration with a little help from his fashionable sister claude is dressed in a ripped v-neck and all over marble print with flared curdy cordury pants bell bottoms ready to give dracula a pretty bouquet a uh, bouquet of roses before heading to her fave vegetarian bistro for a romantic poetry reading in the park um dracula is wearing a gore just gothic floral dress with poof sleeves ghoulish accessories and fantastic heels as the night ends dracula and claude stroll hand in hand sipping cappuccinos when the rain begins to fall reminiscent of the fateful autumn night so long cuddled under her parcel the monster no couple knows that while their love might be forbidden it will always how true and then i got another language such as spanish and i think french and then something else i don't know but yeah and then i'm super excited to open this because um i don't know the cleo and deuce one which i have back here um you know, I think that they were the first uh, Valentine's two pack, which to me I felt like was kind of stupid, considering that. Ow, I just cut myself on that. Anyways, um, even though, yeah, there are a couple and everything. Even though there are a couple and everything, it's still just it's just kind of like why but here is the alt ticket of authenticity it says love edition saying the certificate says that we bought the monster high from mattel oh. but like okay like okay i love the box i keep my g1 boxes i have my closet door open but i keep my g1 boxes because it's G1, so I like to keep them. Here's a little bouquet shell. Also, I have my this candle. Uh, I have Golden Girls on, if you don't hear in the background. If you hear in the background, I'm sorry. I have it on because it's noise, because it's so awkward to just record at my house. Um, here's the black bouquet. Sorry, with my fingers. I just literally got off work not too long ago. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. But 
And then you got like one of these like little cardboard cutouts that says, to the birthday ghoul, I'm over the moon for you. And it's cut up. I don't know. But um, Dracula says, it may be forgotten, but I'm smitten. Don't know why they would use smitten. No one says that anymore. But okay. Um, and then I don't know how I would get this really out of here, this little umbrella. Which is weird because her umbrella is super huge and obnoxious and I don't like it. Like whatsoever. Like it's just weird. It's just weirdly huge to me. So, the holiday collection, I've been seeing people talk about how... Okay, so, if you don't know about the holiday dolls, they're a budget-friendly... They're a budget-friendly, um, collector line. And, basically, it's just, like, if you can't afford the $75, like, Honk Couture dolls, or the $100, if they do that, or, like, anything like that, and you want Monster High, like... The collectors, um, like you want, like the G1 dolls, then they came with the holidays for a more budget friendly option when it comes to that. Which I'm kind of glad they did because to me, I feel like, um, oh my god, I almost cut Claude's finger off because it's so freaking close to the. Draculaura's thing. Oh my gosh. Um. I just, I don't know. People complain about why are there, but why is the budget of these dolls, you know, this much or whatever. And it's just like, well, it's a budget. It's a budget friendly line. That's pretty much why. But, um, her hair. Really, her hair is not coming out. Um, it's like I'm literally like breaking her right now because like her hair is not coming out at all. Someone said her hair was Polly, but I'm like, ain't no way they're gonna collect her doll Polly. So. Just got the Monster High classic smell hair. We all know and love. God. Oh, she's kind of stiff. Here's Jackie Laura. Oh, the stands. I forgot about the stands. The stands are on the bottom. Uh, by the way, I became a victim of the Hot Couture. Um, the pocket for stands breaking so I was, I was watching Frankie's hair up on top right there and I was washing her hair and I was gonna put her back on her clip the clip literally snaps off as soon as I was about to put her back on it I said are you effing kidding me like are you kidding me because it made me mad because I was like I went this long without it breaking and then it's gonna break. Just like that. So. I think you got the message. These stands are weird. But my back literally hurts right now because I just got off work. Uh, where are you supposed to put the stand on at? Like the clip on the belt? She needs a wash though. Oh god, my back hurts. Okay. And then first time like I used to I think these are the same size, so anyways, but yeah. Um just weird how they did these. They're sad. Also I don't see it anywhere, and I'm thinking, 
didn't come with a... Oh, there it is. I was like, did not get... This is the umbrella holder. So basically what you do is you just put the um, umbrella on it. Kind of like the Pennywise and the Claudine one. Or Cleo one. Um, for her balloons. But some, I saw the thing where she can actually hold it. Nope, like it wasn't like heavy, too heavy for her. But here's her cute little purse. <laughs> of course, Claude, I got his accessories so. out. But the men don't really go with anything. They're just kind of like there. Also, there we go. Claude is the one I'm kind of the most excited about. Only because <clears throat> I've never had a G1 Claude. I have a G3 Claude. He's in the back. Um, there's a lot of dolls that, <clears throat> that I haven't that I've gotten that y'all don't know about because I've never I haven't done videos on them. But if you want to see a review, um, please let me know so I can. This is supernatural. So I know. Because it's not hard to do a review. I still have the box, and so I could just use the... Because, like, really, it's just kind of like... Come on, you bitch. There. And then here is the cover. Like the background. I said the cover. The background. The background of the doll. Alright, let's put all this stuff in the trash. Okay. He's a bit loose. He's really loose. But his outfit just came off. What the hell? His morning, Ma. How you feeling? I'm not sure. What are we up to dinner? Y'all. What? How was that? A crotch belt? It just came off. Anyways. Like, okay. Go Claude, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional doll uh, person, so I wouldn't know, but, um, I'm sorry if you do hear Golden Girls, but, like, not really, because Golden Girls are amazing. I don't know what happened to Claude. This thing, are you serious? Come on. I also have Annabelle coming soon, too, so we am very excited about that. Okay. His. Okay, he is stiff. That's a... <clears throat> Anyways. So here, let's review them. Here's Jackie Laura. Um, she's super cute. Um, her hair is not poly. It's just very messy saran. So, she has this, the p light pink, more light pink than what she usually has. It doesn't look like that on camera, but it is. Um, in black. She don't have a bang. She has a sides bang hair twist. And her heart has a crescent on it this time. And this time around, she has... Red eyeshadow. She someone said she looks high. Funny. But um she has really dark lipstick, which I love. This little bat headband. And then the dress. A lot of people don't like the dress. But I love it's it's honestly a really cheap material. I understand. Um, but it is cute. If it was a better material, I would love it. Um, so her hands are actually not pink, they're black, they're fake gloves, initially, and then they got this little accessory, 
as a part of the glove with a little set of bows no it's just a tie oh my god that means when i wash her hair it's gonna be even harder because i can't tie well and since that is a tie it should be fine but the skirt overall is just really cheap and the belt's just standard black and then she's got the red booty well her heel boots or whatever but no they're not boots i don't know why i said boots but they're red with these cool little heart designs on them and then she's got little bat wings on them little bat wings they're super cute and i just love that overall and of course she's got the the uh, normal monster high articulation she also has these little coffin earrings on too and is that everything about her she's kind of giving i don't know Imagine if she was on a, what was that show called? Or maybe Twilight. Imagine if she was on Twilight. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, I'm sorry if this video is so long. She comes with this like little, um, really vibrant red umbrella with hearts around it and just wet, spider web themed like everything else. <clears throat> she comes with this little black heart shaped purse with the bat. Um... Then they come with the bouquet. This is the bouquet, which I'm going to call it hers because, let's be honest here, that's what Claude gave her. It's a coffin shaped. All you do is put the bouquet in there. Then it's just a really big bouquet. But I do forewarn you. Once you open it, it will be weird. Claude comes with this belt thing. <clears throat> like I said, came off. Except for Claude, he's pretty basic. But he's got the best outfit. So with his hair, it's just a on the sides. Ooh, it's the fuzzy side like Venus from G1. I'm gonna be like on a his head for a long time now. Anyways, uh, and he just has his little fur, um, afro mullet, which is really soft. Feels good. You got his little face. Feels like us. He's got his earrings and big ears. Then his little gay club shirt. Let me tell you something. Gay guys wear this. I'm sorry, but he, they do. And then the little, it looks like thorns, but a flames jacket. And then his little bell bottom uh, pants that have circle, the moon phases on them. And these little black boots. Um, yeah, he's dressed like he's about to go to a gay club. But, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think that's all it came with besides these little heart things that I showed you. Um, they don't really come with much. Um, honestly, they didn't come with much like Cleo and Dukes did. Um, like, I understand that they came with, like, there's... They put more into Claude's outfit. Draculaura, they just said, hey, no more. But she does have the standard smell brings me back to good but that is everything that comes with these dolls and everything that's on them um that's yeah that's pretty much it um nothing too crazy um to, yeah nothing crazy um but but yes, so I'm watching the episode where Blanche's daughter goes to a thing. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I love you guys so much. Bye!